Black holes are some of the weirdest things in the universe, and astronomers and scientists are really into studying them. These things have crazy gravity and don't let any light escape. It's like the rules of physics just stop working there. Einstein first thought them up way back in 1916, but for a long time, they were just a theory. Then, in the 1960s, some researchers saw a bright blue star giving off a bunch of X-rays. It was orbiting something they couldn't see. Turns out, it was a giant black hole called Cygnus X-1. This was a big deal because it proved that black holes are real. Cygnus X-1 is about 6,000 light years away and super dense. Its gravity is so strong that not even light can get away. That's why they call it a black hole. Since then, people have found tons of black holes all over the place. Our own galaxy might have over 100 million of them. Even though it's hard to see them directly, astronomers have spotted many possible black holes. They range from small ones made when big stars died to super big ones in the centers of galaxies. Black holes mess with everything around them, even the shape of galaxies. If something gets too close, the black hole's gravity takes over. It stretches things out like spaghetti before sucking them in. They call this spaghettification. Even though black holes are mysterious, they give us a chance to study physics in extreme conditions. The more we learn about them, the more we understand space, time, and gravity. The nearest black hole is pretty far away, about 1,500 light years, but people still wonder if they could cause problems. In 2021, scientists got the first real picture of a black hole in the middle of galaxy M87. It showed that black holes aren't just empty holes. The picture showed a black hole has layers. The outside part is the event horizon. Once something crosses that line, it's gone for good. Inside that is the photon sphere, where light gets trapped and goes around and around. In the middle is the singularity, where the rules of physics break down. Each black hole is a little different, so it's hard to make simple rules about them. Scientists can't just go visit one, so they have to find clever ways to study them from far away. Even though it's tough, scientists are figuring out how these giants are born and how they change the universe. NASA saw evidence of a huge black hole messing with a big area around galaxy M87. Back in 1963, Roy Kerr changed the way people thought about black holes. He said they could spin. He came up with the idea of the ergosphere, a zone around the black hole where things get weird. Kerr's idea also hinted at wormholes, which could be tunnels to other parts of space or even other universes. Wormholes are like shortcuts through space-time, but they might not be stable enough to travel through. Even if they were, there might be a speed limit. Still, the idea of wormholes excites people and makes them wonder about the possibilities. Some scientists are trying to come up with a theory of everything that combines gravity and quantum mechanics. One idea is superstring theory, which says that tiny particles are actually tiny vibrating strings. These strings could explain black holes, wormholes, and other weird stuff. Superstring theory is complicated and says there might be extra dimensions we can't see. It's like trying to explain to a fish that there's a whole world above the surface of the water. Even though we can't see these dimensions, they might affect how things work. Superstring theory needs more proof, but it's connecting different parts of science. It suggests that math and the real world are closely linked. Understanding quantum black holes is a tough puzzle. Some scientists think superstring theory might help solve it, but it's still early days. Studying black holes is important because it makes us think about the universe in new ways. When black holes crash into things like neutron stars, it shows us how the universe is put together. Black holes used to be just a theory, but now we know they're important for how galaxies form, how stars are born, and how the universe changes over time. New tools like gravitational wave detectors are helping us learn even more. Scientists are still trying to connect Einstein's theory of gravity with quantum mechanics. Black holes are a place where both theories should work, but they don't seem to agree. Figuring out black holes might help us come up with a better understanding of reality. Black holes, wormholes, and space-time itself might hold the key to a better model of the universe. For now, they keep us guessing and inspire new ideas. 
From Einstein to Hawking, people are still working on the puzzle of black holes. With every new discovery, we get closer to understanding these powerful objects and the nature of existence itself. Black holes are still super weird and cool, and astronomers and scientists are really into studying them. They're basically spots in space with so much gravity that not even light can escape, kind of a point where normal physics breaks down. Einstein thought them up way back in 1916, but for a long time, they were just an idea. Then, we got the tech to actually see them, indirectly. Big moment in the 60s, some scientists looking at the Cygnus constellation saw this bright blue star shooting out a ton of x-rays. It was orbiting something invisible, and nobody could figure out what it was until they realized it was a black hole called Cygnus X1. Finding Cygnus X1 was huge. It proved black holes are real and kicked off a whole bunch of study. Cygnus X1 is about 6,000 light years away and is super tiny but has crazy gravity. That's why they call it a black hole, nothing gets away, not even light. Since then, we've found a bunch more black holes all over the place. They think our own galaxy, the Milky Way, might have over 100 million of them. It's hard to see them directly, but astronomers have spotted some likely suspects, from small ones, left over from dead stars, to giant ones in the middle of galaxies. Black holes mess with everything around them, shaping how galaxies grow and pulling in any nearby stuff. If something gets too close, the black hole's gravity stretches it out like spaghetti before sucking it in, they call this spaghettification. It's basically the black hole's gravity winning big time. Even though black holes are a great way to test the limits of physics, they're still mysterious. People are still trying to figure them out, hoping to get a better view about space, time, and gravity. We're pretty far from the nearest black hole, around 1,500 light years, but folks still wonder what might happen if we got closer. Back in 2021, scientists grabbed the first real picture of a black hole, the one in the middle of galaxy M87. This gave everyone solid knowledge about what they actually look like. The pictures showed they're not just empty spots. After a lot of work, they saw three layers, the event horizon, the point of no return, the photon sphere, where light just circles around, and the singularity, the center, where physics goes haywire. Black holes are different and weird, making them hard to understand. Most seem to have those three layers, but each one acts differently, so you can't just use the same old methods to study them. Since we can't go there directly, we'd get destroyed. Scientists have to look for them indirectly. People have tons of ideas about where they come from, like huge stars collapsing, and NASA's seen signs of a giant black hole messing with the space around Galaxy M87. Even with the difficulties, scientists keep digging, trying to figure them out. A guy named Roy Kerr came up with a cool idea in 1963. What if black holes spin? He thought there was a zone around them called the ergosphere where things got weird, kind of balancing on the edge of the black hole. Even cooler, Kerr's idea hinted at wormholes, shortcuts through space that might connect far-off places or even different universes. The idea is that space is like a fabric that gets bent by heavy stuff. Wormholes would be like tunnels through that fabric, letting you jump from one spot to another very quickly. Of course, wormholes are still just an idea. General relativity puts limits on how fast you can move through space, so even if wormholes exist, they might not let you travel faster than light. Still, they're fun to think about and inspire people to check about space. All of this has led scientists to hunt for a theory of everything, a way to explain all the forces and particles in the universe. One idea is superstring theory, which says that particles are actually tiny vibrating strings. The universe would be like a giant symphony, with each particle being a different note. Superstring theory might also explain black holes and wormholes, but would need extra hidden dimensions, ones we can't see. Think of fish living in a flat pond, they wouldn't know there's a world above them. Similarly, we might not see these extra dimensions, but they could affect how things work. The math behind superstring theory has linked math and physics in surprising ways, but the theory is hard to test because we can't see those extra dimensions. Nevertheless, folks are still excited about it. One of the big mysteries is the quantum black hole, trying to mesh gravity and quantum mechanics. 
Some scientists think superstring theory might help, even though it only works with simplified models right now. It's a work that's in progress, pushing us to the edge of what we know, where fact and theory get mixed up. Studying black holes is important because they challenge our basic thoughts about reality and make us think hard. How black holes interact with other things, like neutron stars, shows how the universe is put together. We're figuring out that black holes aren't just weird exceptions. They are a key role in how galaxies form, how stars are born, and how the universe grows. With better gadgets, like gravitational wave detectors and space telescopes, we're seeing these things better than ever. The goal is to combine Einstein's ideas about gravity with quantum mechanics. Black holes are the perfect place to test these ideas, but right now, the two theories clash. Cracking the black hole code might unlock a fuller model of reality, blending gravity and quantum field theory. Until then, black holes remain puzzles. And a call for more exploration and a new wave of thinkers. From Einstein and Hawking to the string theorists and astronomers of today, the black hole story is a reflection of our ever-growing understanding of ourselves and our place in the universe. With every equation, simulation, and captured image, we get even closer to discovering the secrets of these massive powerhouses and existence itself.